Welcome back to the channel. Today we have the SOG Sync Traveler. This is the Sync 1. This is going to be a belt buckle multi-tool. So I'm pretty excited about this. This is actually one of the great multi-tools I believe that SOG comes out with. And I know a lot of people don't associate great with SOG, but I feel like they have really done a fantastic job in the small multi-tool world. So they're filling a void where there's really no competition to some extent. I mean, Gerber and Leatherman have sort of left that in-between realm between the Leatherman uh, micro, Micra and the Leatherman Rev in that juice area size. The SOG PowerPoint and the Power Leader pretty much dominate the market. Gerber, I don't really think they have anything in that middle, uh, middle small size. And this is another multi-tool where really, I mean, Leatherman came out with the tread. This is a reproduction, but anyway, they came out with that. But I really can't think of a belt buckle that Leatherman or Gerber sell at this time. Now, Gerber did come up come out with a couple bare grills, belt buckles, but they were not really multi-tools. They were just basically knives and fire starters uh, tucked into a belt buckle. Uh, and there was a couple different versions with a couple different tools as well. All right, so let's go ahead and look over the SOG sink. Now, I wanted to bring this up because the SOG sink seems to be disappearing on some sites. So on SOG, they had that it's out of production right now, I guess, with all the materials and all the delays and so forth that SOG is, does not have the sink in production. So actually on the Knife Center, this particular version is out of stock as well. So this originally sold for around $54. There's the Sync 1 and the Sync 2. So the Sync 2 is going to be much larger. From the pictures, it looks like it will be a quarter inch to a half an inch larger. And it also will be heavier and carry a couple more tools. But for a belt buckle tool, I really like the light weight of the Sync 1. This will come in at 4.8 ounces. When you get it, it will have a pocket clip if it's in new condition on the back. In that pocket clip, you can use it in a configuration on your belt or on a backpack. You don't have to use it as a belt buckle. I took the clip off because I'm using this as a belt buckle. Now, I bought this belt, just a very cheap belt to sort of test this out on. Uh, $13 off Amazon, I believe it was. And this belt doesn't perfectly fit this buckle. So keep that in mind. You might have to adjust the belt or find a skinnier belt as well. So the SOG Sync has a really neat system where it clicks into place. You push this middle button and then it just releases and slides in and out. So when it's clicked into place, there we go. I have worn this belt uh, several days now and I actually have not had any issues with it detaching when I am not uh, pressing on it and so forth. So it seems to stay pretty steady in there. So I'm pretty impressed with the mechanism. So the SOG Sync 1 is advertised as having nine tools. So one of the tools we find is this, these needle nose pliers. Pretty happy with those. Again, this is going to be soft wire copper wire around 14 gauge, but it's easily able to manipulate this wire, no problem, even though it's a fairly small set of pliers. Then we also have the wire cutters, and to be honest, these wire cutters are probably too small to do much, but that is a function as well. I thought it was unique that you also have a pair of wire crimpers. So SOG from earlier on, or early on rather, has definitely had some leanings toward electrician multi-tools, and I like that they add that feature. Pretty neat to do that. Now, this is a tool or a tool feature that I always forget, but you do have a ruler such as it is. You've got one, two inches, three to four, and four to five, and I'm not sure I didn't measure, but maybe this gap makes it a perfect five inches. You'll have to check that out on your multi-tool. So once we close this out, we find that we've got a couple inside tools. We've got a jeweler's tool here is what they call it. And then also we have got a bottle, uh, bottle opener. And then on this side, we have a screwdriver on the end. And then we also have a three sided file such as it is. Now this is going to be a very small three sided file, but that's how it is listed. 
Now on the other side, we have a pretty nifty little pair of scissors. Again, SOG doesn't have, let's see, I have to remember how to use these. They don't have the greatest reputation on scissors. Uh, they're not the best with scissors. But I find that these scissors do pretty good on fairly thick cardboard. So for very small tasks, which is what this is meant for, you shouldn't have that many problems with a pair of scissors. If you're planning to fashion a hammock out of paracord, then you probably don't want these pair of scissors. I guess we can try to make an embarrassing show of these scissors. Let's see, because I don't yeah, they're not going to do that great on paracord, but for a lot of the very small tasks, they seem to do really well. So this is one of those multi-tools that will not have a knife, and it does not have locking tools. So this might be a unique multi-tool, depending on what country or region of the country you're in, this might meet some laws that other multi-tools do not. I'll leave that up to you and your judgment. So I think SOG did an excellent job with this. I'm trying to work on a EDC option with multi-tools and so forth, where a lot of the things that you carry for every day has many multi-purposes. And so this definitely fits my belt option. So this will be definitely be my belt EDC, and I really love this. And I hope you can find this and pick it up before it's too late. I believe some of the SOG sinks are still available. This is the Traveler, I believe it's called, the Sink 1. And I'll try to put some links on what I can find on Amazon and elsewhere if I can't find everything on Amazon. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, a great little multi-tool. It can't do everything. It's not a Leatherman Surge, but it definitely has a lot of potential. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.